Hey guys, it's me, Amir Rosic, and in this video, you're going to learn about how to completely eliminate arthritis from your diet. Recently on Facebook, I asked the question, what is the number one concern in people's life? And I want to thank everybody for the replies and comments I got back. The number one answer that actually came back is arthritis. And I was really happy to actually get this topic because arthritis holds a special place in my heart because my mother did suffer from arthritis, key word, did, and I'm very happy to say today that she is a hundred times better. Now, I was tired of seeing her go through the pain, the inflammation of the fingers, the knees. I had to do something about it, and through my protocol, through my suggestions, she's a hundred times better. So I hope today what you learned from my video, you can implement in your life. So, if we look at this chart over here, you can see this is actually a magnification of your, you know, your digestive system, your intestinal system. And basically, every time that you eat any foods, let's say an apple. So you're eating an apple, and the apple is going through your digestion system over here, and the particles are getting, you know, digested, digested over here. These things that you see over here that look like uh, finger-like projections, as they're called, is actually known as microvilli. Pretty much think of them as a netting. So, you know, it casts the netting in your intestines to actually absorb the nutrients better. So, you know, you're going to absorb your vitamins and minerals much better. So, once these nettings are cast out, they attach to the vitamins and minerals much better for absorption. So, you know, you're eating a healthy apple, you're getting your vitamins and minerals, and you're feeling healthy. But certain foods don't work this way. Certain foods that you eat actually affect the health of your microvilli. And this leads me up to my number one food to avoid for today is grains. So, grains meaning breads, pasta, cereal, so forth. So, every time that you have, you know, no more apple every time that you have say you know your piece of slice of toast over here your slice of toast you're going to eat it and the molecules or the grains known as gluten gliadin and so forth there's so many to name will actually go within your you know intestine system over here and instead of actually your microvilli so your little fingers absorbing it think of this as a sharp knife so now this starts cutting away and cutting away and cutting away at your microvilli. Next thing you know what happens is you're left with something that looks like a 1970s, you know, flat carpet over here that has nothing, no more fingers. It's just like, eh, and that's not good at all. That means no more absorption of minerals and vitamins. So the apple that you did eat before, you're not absorbing anymore. It's basically, instead of you having nice mountains full of all these people absorbing the food from you, these microvilli, you have, you know, Highway 401 going through straight through your gut. It's, it's not good at all. And so, you know, the more times you consume your wheat, you know, your breads, your pastas, your cereals, you know, the more of these gluten and glycogen particles enter your body. And there's, it becomes even worse because after you have a flat, you know, gut, it actually starts penetrating deeper. And next thing you know it, it actually creates a hole through your intestines and enters your bloodstream. So this particle, the gluten and gliden, enters your bloodstream. And now this activates inflammation in your body. And remember, inflammation is the cause of arthritis within the joints, which, within your knees. This is what's happening when you have arthritis. So now you have gluten inside your blood and your immune system will come. So you got this, you know, hungry guy comes over here and he wants to eat your immune system. But this is also, this is good, but what's not good about this is the gluten and the glycogen molecule in your blood attached itself to another friendly immune system that's yours. So it, you know, grabs somebody. It's like, oh, if I'm going, I'm taking somebody with me. So it grabs the next immune system that belongs to you. But your main immune system doesn't know that, doesn't care. He just sees this as food and he eats it. So this is known as an autoimmune condition. Your own immune system is attacking itself and destroying your own body within. And this is what arthritis is all about. The inflammation of the joints, the inflammation of the knees. 
I can remember when I put my mother through the protocol and I, I knew the days that she wasn't uh, wasn't eating the foods because I can actually literally see within you know her index and thumb fingers it was swollen and I knew that she ate some bread or or some kind of pasta the night before I, I pinpoint it was instantaneous and you know she'll go three four weeks without eating you know breads or pasta and it's day and night difference it's like completely different different person so that's the number one food I want you to avoid is grains the next food group I want you to avoid is commercial dairy. And that includes milk, uh, cheeses, yogurts, anything that comes from an animal byproduct that's commercialized and pasteurized, please stay away from commercial dairy because also within commercial dairy you have proteins and these molecules you'll eat called, you know, BCM7, uh, casein, all these proteins, they do exactly the same thing. So you know, if you're very custom over here in North America, say you're gonna have yourself, you know, a nice glass of milk, and the milk comes inside, but instead of molecules being, you know, nice and friendly, they're not. They're they're these evil, evil molecules, you know, that want to attack your body, and they'll break holes. They'll break holes right through your intestine, and he'll go in, and he'll go in right to your fingers, right to the inflammation, you know, spots, right to your knees, everywhere, and cause an inflammatory situation. This is what, how arthritis is created. And what I'm trying to point out over here is simple stuff like avoiding the grains, avoiding the dairy has helped my mother out tremendously. She's a completely different person today. And I'm really sick of seeing people taking drugs and medication for arthritis, which is actually just band-aid, just not helping nothing. It's not getting to the underlining cause. So I really hope you can take this information today and use it in your life. I want you to become healthier. I want you to become the best version, the optimal version of yourself. All our mothers, all our fathers, all our sisters, everybody deserves to live a healthy life. I don't want to see anybody suffer from arthritis. Nobody should. And please take this information and help yourself today. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel and just click the button above and leave some comments below. I want to know how I can help you with arthritis. Please let me know anything I can do. Thanks guys.